Hello and welcome to my Chimera State YouTube channel. Cubase 13 is here and as a longtime Cubase Pro user, I have dared to update from Cubase 12 Pro and in this video I'll tell you whether the upgrade was worth it and what new features and functions Cubase 13 Pro has to offer. Cubase 13 is available in three versions, Cubase 13 Pro, Cubase Artist 13 and Cubase Elements 13. If you already own a previous version of Cubase, you can update to the new version at a modest price. What immediately stands out when you first open it is the new design of the user interface. Overall, the new interface appears more contrasting and somewhat modern, but that alone wouldn't have been a reason for me to update, to be honest. Much more important are the new features that help to further improve the workflow and I would like to discuss the most important updates for me. In the mix console you can finally switch the channel configuration from mono to stereo and vice versa with just one click. A feature that the community has long been looking forward to and also saves me time. Especially when recording vocals in mono but then wanting to edit them as a stereo track. What also greatly speeds up the workflow is that in the project window you finally have the opportunity to display a channel strip from the mix console respective to the track selected in the project window. This means you no longer have to switch between the mix console and the project window to make settings in the mix or in the channel strip. The EQ included in the mix console has also been revised. It now consists of a total of 5 bands and opens in a pop-up window, which automatically closes when you leave the window with the mouse. Also a small time saver. What I also find great is that by pressing the shift key and scrolling the mouse wheel in the project window, you can scroll left and right. If you press the shift key and control at the same time, you can enlarge and reduce the tracks vertically. By pressing the control key you can minimize or enlarge the horizontal view and by pressing control and alt you can enlarge or reduce the display of waveforms which does not affect their volume. I personally find these new control options great, I was already familiar with this type of control from the video editing programs I use and I'm very happy that Cubase 13 now also has it. Also taken from other applications is the ability to now specify from which starting point Cubase should play an arrangement. From the position of the position pointer, from cycle start, from selection start, or from selection or cycle start. Personally, since Cubase 13 Pro, I like to use the latter option. The tempo can now also be easily set directly in the transport bar by clicking on the designated button with the mouse in time. The speed thus specified can then also be easily transferred to a tempo track. News also that the selection area tool is now also available in the MIDI editor, allowing a complete area of MIDI notes and automations to be selected without having to scroll up or down and risk not selecting MIDI parameters. Chord pads have now also been expanded and are available in all Cubase 13 versions, including new chord sequences have been added to allow even beginners to find suitable chord progressions in no time and create entire song structures from them.
The sampler track has also been expanded. New are new algorithms in the audio warp area for even better sound results and envelope presets to automate modulations and thus achieve very creative effects. And those were already the most interesting workflow updates from my point of view, which at least speed up my way of working, but of course there are further detailed improvements that Steinberg lists on the website. But now let's get to the content updates like the 5 new sample libraries that Steinberg has given Cubase 13 Pro, Soulful, Cinematic Electronic, Beat Butcher Delicatessen, Analog Wonder and Midnight Dance. Let's have a listen. Tell me, tell me, do you wanna take me for a ride? Blow like seasons, yes, I love it. Laid back cruising in the Bentley.
Furthermore, many new plugins have been added to Cubase 13 Pro, some of which remind me of third-party plugins that I already own and are therefore not so interesting for me personally. But for all those who are new to music production or do not have such third-party plugins, certainly very pleasing additions. First and foremost, Steinbeck Vocal Chain. A plugin that provides tools for all steps in editing vocals. Personally, I like to use Nectar 4 from Isotope for this, which offers even more editing options and also has an AI assistant. But clearly, Nectar 4 Advanced costs an additional 329 euros, so it's very pleasing that Cubase now includes Vocal Chain, a dedicated vocal editing plugin. With EQ P1A and EQ M5 and VoxComp, Cubase 13 Pro is now equipped with two additional EQs and a compressor specialized in vocals. The latter reminds me a lot of Renaissance Vox from Waves due to the easy operability and the available parameters that can be set. I'm the one who needed change Couldn't leave this all unanswered couldn't deal with all this pain I'm the one that needed closure I'm the one who needed change Couldn't leave this all unanswered Couldn't deal with all this pain I'm the one who needed change couldn't leave this all unanswered Couldn't deal with all this pain I'm the one that needed closure I'm the one who needed change Couldn't leave this all unanswered Couldn't deal with all this pain I'm the one that needed closure I'm the one who needed change Couldn't leave this all unanswered Couldn't deal with all this pain but there's another new tube compressor with black valve which is supposed to give recordings warmth and character Couldn't deal with all this pain I'm the one that needed closure I'm the one who needed change 
change Couldn't leave this all unanswered Couldn't deal with all this pain I'm the one that needed closure what really pleases me is that Steinberg has resurrected an old known plugin and the vocoder is now newly revised with up to 24 filter bands available. This allows you to create robot-like vocals, but listen for yourself. Newly added is an orchestra instrument based on Halion called Iconica Sketch. Overall, it is based on a 5GB library that promises 140 articulations. However, I still have to try these in detail and see how they compare to other orchestra libraries. All in all, Steinberg Cubis 13 Pro is a consistent further development of the popular DAW. Personally, I'm particularly taken with the workflow improvements, but how do you feel about the update? Have you already switched to Cubis 13 and what are your favorite updates? Feel free to leave me a comment. If you liked the video, I would be very happy about a like and channel subscription. Until next time, auf Wiedersehen.